Hi guys, Isa from Princetech here and first I wanted to apologize for making you wait so long before I released a new video. I was actually moving and this process of moving took a long time because it was a new home so there were things that were not ready yet for us to move in so I had to like fix a lot of things. Oh, it has taken me many days, I'm still not ready but it's doing a lot better so now I'm ready to get back at the filming. Some of you are interested in knowing how you can add a second spread similar to the one included in the color planner to other planners that don't already include a second monthly spread. So in this video, I will show you how you can do that with any planner that you already own. And I will be doing this directly in GoodNotes. So you don't have to worry about any other apps. You can just open GoodNotes and do it right there. So let's get started. All right, guys, so this is the monthly spread included in my planner. This is the Vita planner, and I just wanted to show you the color planner. This is the first monthly spread included, and this one's linked to the tab. So if I go to May or April, it's going to take me to this uh, monthly spread. But if I swipe left, I also have this option, which is a bigger calendar similar to the one I have in this other planner. Okay, so what I want to show you today is how you can make something similar to this monthly spread and you can add it next to the existing monthly spread in another planner, which is this one, okay? So I will show you, I have done two options. So I have a bigger calendar and I also started making a smaller calendar with little extra boxes where I can write special events, dates, birthdays, things like that, which imitates the uh, spread that I just showed you. So let's do this for the month of June. There we go. So the first thing you need to do is copy a spread. I recommend copying a dotted spread. So I'm just gonna tap on my dot here and that's gonna bring me to my blank dotted spread included in the month of May. I mean June. So as you can see, June is selected and my dotted spread is selected, okay? That's where I am, but I want to copy this page. So I can tap on this right corner on the three dots and then click on copy page. And that's copying the page. Then I go to my four squares on the top left. And as you can see, it's slightly selected. It's in, it has like a blue outline. That's how you know what page you're at. And if you tap on this arrow at the bottom here, you can click on add page after. Then you just tap on paste page. And that will paste the page that I just copied right next to it, okay? So there we go. And the reason why I did this is because I wanna keep my link page, which is gonna be this one, blank okay so this is the link page and this is a copy that i just made and now i just want to move it right next to my existing calendar which is up here so i'm just gonna tap and drag it next to the calendar all right so when i swipe left from my calendar i have this blank spread now this is gonna be a little hard for me to do because i don't have my apple pencil at the moment so i'm gonna use my finger and I hope that it doesn't cause me a lot of trouble making it straight and such. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on my pen tool up here to activate my toolbar, and then I'm going to tap on my pen. I want the ball pen right now because the fountain pen or the brush pen will change with pressure if you have the Apple Pencil or with speed if you don't. As you can see, if I go slower, it's thicker. If I go faster, it's thinner. So we want the lines to be consistent and we don't want the weight of the lines to change so I'm just gonna go to my ball pen and any line that I make is going to stay the same width okay that's why I choose that and for the size I'm going to do something like two millimeters all right so first thing I'm going to do is create a box and the way to decide how big the box should be is to count the boxes and then divide you know do the math of how many boxes you want them to fit or if you have the Vita Planner, I did this for you and you can know that the size of each square will be four by four. So you can just follow that and you can also start small and then if you see that you have a lot of room left, you can just grow the whole calendar. I'm gonna show you how in a bit. So the first thing I wanna do, well, I have my pen selected, now I wanna click on my perfect shape tool and that will allow me to make perfect squares, okay? Okay, so I wanna do four by because I want my boxes to be square. So I'm gonna go from this dot to this dot to this dot and this dot, okay? So I'm gonna try not to mess it up. I'm actually going to leave the dots there and then we're gonna delete them, I'm gonna show you how. So from one dot to the next. 
Okay, let's see if I got it right. I think it's going to work. So I'm just going to cut this so I can delete the dots that I created with my eraser. Okay, then with my lasso tool, tap and hold, click on paste. And there I have my first box. Okay, now since I cut it, I have it copied so I can tap and hold again, click on paste again. And that is going to bring a second box. So now I just want to align it and bring it right next to the first box. So I can start creating a row, okay? There we go. And I'm going to do, of course, seven boxes, one per day of the week. Whoopsies. Paste again. And then you can also copy, for example, I have four now. So if I copy three of them, it's gonna be a little faster and I can paste them all. And that saves me some time. All right, now I have my first row and any calendar can have up to six uh, rows. So that's how many I'm going to create right now. So copy, tap and hold, click on paste. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so I can align this properly. Okay, if I like that, which is not perfectly aligned, let me try again. This is odd, I don't know why GoodNotes will like misalign this a little bit. Um, how can it start well and then just like not be straight? I feel like that's a glitch with GoodNotes, but that's fine. I'm just going to delete all of those and kind of copy this part again. And then I can paste this bunch and delete this extra two. Okay, looking better. And then copy these two rows. Okay, and I need two more rows, so paste them again. Yeah, that's good. And so now I should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes by one, two, three, four, five, six rows, okay? The next thing I'm going to do at the moment, I'm actually just going to select all of these with my lasso tool so I can move them down one little row of dots. That's why the dots are so helpful to like organize all of your designs. And next I'm gonna create a text box. So for that I just tapped on my text box and then somewhere on the screen, I'm gonna start with the day Wednesday because it's usually the longest day. I want to make sure that whatever font size I select fits this word, okay? And then I'm going to double tap to select all text. And I want to center this text so I can align all my days. So there you go, you have it centered. And then, so if you, you can do Sunday start or Monday start. I'm going to do Monday start. So this is going to be Monday, Tuesday, and the third box will be Wednesday. So let me zoom in. And I want to make the box smaller. As you can see, this font size did not fit, so I'm going to select all and just make it smaller until it fits. Or I can make the box a little bit bigger and then center it. Actually, I want the text a little bit bigger. I want it to take up as much room as there is available. There we go, okay? Now, and if you want to also use your lasso tool to resize, you can do that and then just center it kind of like there. Okay, so I will make another selection, copy this day, tap and hold, click on paste. I'm going to center it on the next box, all right? And then this is going to be Thursday. And then I'm going to move this up slightly something like that and then tap and hold click on paste we have another Wednesday here okay and then this is going to be Tuesday as you can see since I centered the text now the word will be centered so that's why that is important it saves you some steps if you do it this way okay and this is going to be Monday all right and then we have these three boxes. You can also copy three of these up at a time. Copy, paste, there. And then change the words. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. 
and let me let me bring these up slightly I think somewhere there yeah okay so I have my monthly spread pretty much and you could do what I mentioned about resizing is you can select the whole thing and you can move it around on your page for example let's say I want it here at the bottom or I want to center it um, I usually keep it all the way to an edge so I have more room available in this occasion there's not a lot of room but you can easily add some washi here or some decorative stickers so I like doing that so you could resize this and make it even smaller and you could of course grow it a little bit for example you could go all the way to the edges of the page something like that and then I will add some other boxes here in fact I think I want this at the top sorry let me bring it back up here I just prefer that way like that and then here again with my perfect shape tool selected I can start creating boxes so the way this is going to work is I'm just going to create two or three boxes here so the first one is going to take all of these remaining dots you'll see in a second okay so let me see if I got this right it doesn't matter that much but I can make it a little bit bigger something like this okay and then I'm going to add text for example special events and I want to put this kind of in the middle and then I'm going to grab my eraser tool I'm gonna to tap again and make sure that erase entire stroke is turned off because if it's turned on when I tap on the box it'll delete the whole thing and I just want to delete this bit so turn that off and just pass it over the word oh, oh I deleted this by accident there we go so pass it over the word that was a bit much okay and then you have a little box that you created and we can create two more boxes over here with the perfect shape tool selected and one more box There you go. And the cool thing about using the pen tool and the text tool directly in GoodNotes is that you can change the color of everything, okay? So that's fun. You can just change it up according to the season. For example, you can do like a Christmassy, you know, combination here. You know? So this is how you can create your very own spread using nothing but good notes. I hope you like this video guys, if you did please give it a thumbs up to let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you're notified whenever I upload a new video and if you have any questions let me know in a comment and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time, bye bye!